particular video is to teach you how to actually do a shoulder spica wrap. Uh, this is a very useful wrap uh, for individuals that have primarily anterior um, or medial or lateral shoulder pain. So they're getting some soreness right around uh, the area. Um, it's pr primarily providing compression, which is going to be more of a um, kind of a heating element, which definitely helps the shoulder. Uh, but it also is going to pull it into a little bit of internal rotation because individuals that go into external rotation, that creates much more of the problem areas. So we're gonna try to secure it down and pull it a little bit into uh, interior rotation. So what we want to do is place him in just a nice kind of neutral position, which is we can place his hand on his uh, hip like this. Uh, what we can also do is place his hand on his back, which is going to play a little bit more of uh, anterior rotation. So it really kind of depends on what you want to do. Uh, for him, we're going to use a six inch double length wrap. Uh, depending on the size of the individual, you could also choose a four inch. Uh, generally, I find though four inches is a little bit more useful for individuals with a slightly smaller torso or a slightly smaller arm. Uh, so male athletes typically, I'm gonna be using the six inch uh, double length wrap. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, start and apply the wrap directly onto the arm. We wanna get this nice and secure. So we want to wrap this around um, at least one time if not two times to just to make sure that that doesn't really go anywhere. So it doesn't um, kind of you know, pull off or slide. And you'll see that I'm actually pulling in again into an anterior position. So I'm pulling him from back to front. I'm gonna apply this directly over and across his, sh his chest and up underneath his uninvolved um, arm, just like that. I'm gonna come back around the body and then crisscross creating that figure eight pattern or that spica that goes around the shoulder. You'll see I've got plenty of wrap left, so I'm gonna to continue to do this as many times as I can. And each time I wanna go slightly up towards his head, so that way I can in include as much of the shoulder um, as we possibly can, and continue doing that wrap as much as we, you know, until the wrap actually um, comes out. So once I'm done here, ideally I'm gonna finish right around the arm. So I'm gonna loop this around and this gives me the opportunity to actually secure this down onto the arm. If he's gonna go play in a sport, I actually wanna secure this with white tape. I don't wanna use the clips that are included in the ace bandage because those are just gonna pop and fall right off. Um, similar to other ace bandage taping, again, we don't want to go all the way around with one piece because we don't want to cut off any circulation. So the, right before I do this last strip, I'm going to have him contract his bicep so it's as big as it's going to get, and then he can relax. We're going to do that one more time with our other piece of tape. Again, have him contract his bicep, lay this down, so that way it's good and, and secure. Okay, once he's done, now I can just make sure that the uh, wrap is actually uh, wrinkle free, make sure as much of the shoulder is covered um, as we need to. I can go ahead and check circulation to make sure that it's not too terribly tight. I can make sure that it helps and reduces any type of external rotation and make sure that it feels good for him and he's ready to go. With this particular one, we actually did it over his shirt. You could do it under the shirt as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, but if you are putting it over a shirt, it's probably best to have it uh, to a much more of a tight fitting or a compression style shirt um, rather than something that's big or baggy. Uh, if he's a basketball player and has more of a tank top, it's much better to go underneath. Um, if he's a football player or somebody with um, a lacrosse player, somebody with shoulder pads, definitely not wanting to go over the shoulder pads would want to go underneath those pads. But here we go, it's, he's all set um, and ready to go out um, and compete.